Welcome back to another Ultimate Public Freakout episode. No, ma'am, you're on my property. I need you to leave. Get off of my property. You're destroying our property. You're on my property. You're no, destroying our you're property. You're on my property. No. Watch. She's going to run my hand over with a lawnmower. You're in my country. You're in my country. You're in my country. You're in my country. And you with the act with the skin problem. Yes. So the Chinese man want to complain, but don't worry. America getting ready to bomb your country. We have our ships on your water. You got a problem with me? Like you got a problem giving up Taiwan. He doesn't realize that I'm not from New York. And I didn't grow up in the city around dirty Puerto Ricans and dirty Puerto Ricans. So talking about racism, this is what racism is. She came over here because she thought that I would possibly get physical with the white cop. Black people are the worst, are the worst. You, out of here now, now. Not one more word out of you or you'll go. This, this is what NYPD looks for. Who can't even put his bulletproof vest over his blubber? I bet you don't, don't call yourself an American either. Because you did everything them white folks say. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. I'll be there. I'll be there. This lady owned herself. She's always making up problems with her neighbor. One day she figured she would get her property marked. She thought she was going to get some of her neighbor's property but it backfired because she ended up losing 3 feet of land. And the worst part is she paid for the surveyor. Owned. Now her neighbors decided to redo the fence well since now they have more land. And as you can imagine she has been losing her mind ever since. Please. That's fine. Call the police. Get oh. out of my yard. We're this in is the yard. yard ends here. No. Get out of my yard. You can't do this. Hey. Anyway. You cannot do this unless you have a court order. They already told you that, Leanne. No. They I already have... told you that. They've been already... here a hundred times. Y'all are in the middle of a crime. I'm not lying. The cops no. said that they had. She has to take me to court. I have. Then why didn't Call they tell me when Get I told the them we were here. coming? Let's yeah. Settled. Okay. Ah, don't hey. you touch. Hey. Don't it's touch. In... Girl, don't you better touch. back the up. Get out of my yard. Don't touch. Get out of my yard. Don't touch Go until get me that the police shovel. get home. Jaden, give me that shovel now. Did you see the property line, line on the other side too? Is, yeah, to is it live streaming? Yeah. yeah. Give me that shovel. Get it out of my yard. What are you guys doing? You don't have a permit to do this? Yes, I do. Where is it? It's approved from the city. I'll Where is it. it? Where's the judge's permit? Because you know damn good and well you have to take this to a judge. No, I don't. Yes, you Put do. Up a fence? Yes, because she has a problem with the property line. She has to take it to no, a judge. I don't. That's I why the police. Here to pound his I know. I understand that, and y'all don't understand what you've gotten yourself into. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not trying to keep her from her. The city. We've knows lived in this house for 40 knows. years. Step off. Don't her. tell me what to do in my own backyard. Is don't tell property, me what to do in my own backyard. Where's Grandpa? I called him and said coming. Did you call the police yet? No. I will. Do I will. Go ahead. He's coming. You're destroying Josh, our Josh property. Too. You're destroying our property. You're on my property. You're no, destroying our You're property. You're on my property. No, the not. property we're pins aren't even right there. They're three yes, quarters. They no, they're not, Look, Leanne. Let me show you. No, they're not, Leanne. Right I, there. I know exactly where the pink wire. I don't get a permit. She's cutting everything. She's cutting and everything. It is. If the property line's been here since 1972, which it has. That's why she has to go to court to change the property lines. Now get off my property. Get off my property. Get off my property. Get off of my property, ma'am. You touched me. No, ma'am, you're on my property. You I need you to leave. Me. Get off of my property. You shoved me over. Yeah, I didn't touch you. My yeah. hand is right here and on the camera. Your arm. Get off of my property. My children are here. Get off of my property. Good. Then maybe you'll get off of my property. Get off of my property, you dumb. Get off my property. Y'all didn't think this was gonna happen. Y'all didn't think somebody angry was gonna show show up. That's fine. She has to take me to court for it. Yep. Because she's the one that has a problem with it. You just you had no permission to dig this. You kicked my husband. 
Okay, she just admitted to kicking her husband even though she just kicked his measuring tape. Now watch how quickly the toughness fades away when she sees the cops who she knows by their first name. Kicked my husband. You kicked my husband. I, did it. I kicked the end of his tape measure. You kicked him. This isn't even right. right and they already said that they have to take me to court for this one. Kayla, they have their permits from the city to do it. They already said they that. Can do it. They already said they had to take She She kicked my I husband. Got, she pushed me. The end of his I've got in the city got all the permits, Kayla. Okay, we but, can put this up. Okay, but, but, but not Kayla? Far over. Hold on, I'm talking. Hold on. That's the pin. That's their lock. Okay, but, but no. The judge said that she, if she wanted to redo the property lines, she had to take me to court. Kayla, stop and listen. No, I, you're they not going to just come out here and yell right. at me. I'm not yelling. You are. You're talking over me and they, you're not listening to what I'm saying. You need to shut up and listen. Don't tell me to shut up, Mark. You need to be quiet. And listen. Thank you. I'll be okay. quiet and listen, but you're not going to tell me to shut up. This is the pin from the surveyor. I can see it. They can tie a string to that. If this continues, then you destroy anything they put up Don't on talk. these property lines. You're going to be, hey, hey. Not one more word out of you or you'll go. You're done. Out of my face. Turn and walk away. Turn and walk away. Turn around and walk away. Don't you push me. That's enough. You run your mouth again, you're gone. Do you understand me? Do you? Are we crystal clear on this? No, you can't. Be an adult and be quiet. Judge Doyle is not charging me. Allie, Kayla. I can still hear him, Cardinal. Then walk away if you don't want to I don't hear. want to. I, I left well, my house. Well, then deal with it. That's fine. I'm dealing with it. You're She's complaining. Running we can have a conversation That's right fine. here without she you getting upset. Guys, you're perfectly right to do, put want. your fence in That's and everything neat. else. I know. Everybody be an adult. I'm trying to. You guys are doing good. Run your, run your string lines off of your hands. Make sure you're staying on your property That's on this side and on that side. And if there's something later on that you guys go to court on and the judge deems that the fence was six inches off or whatever it's that's not, all I, i'm going by the fence i just right don't down. want you guys fighting okay yeah, I don't want to running our down. mouths cussing hey things like that that none of that solves the problem no i don't cuss even okay i, know. I never have i know this will make sense later but this lady moved to new york but the neighborhood she wanted to live in was too expensive so she bought two RVs and parked them as close as she could to the neighborhood that she wanted to live in. She's new to the city, but the city is not new to her. Here I stand in front of Mount Sinai. The head of security, all of the hospital, refusing to give me my, my prescription. I shouldn't have medicine to keep me alive. These are certified murderers. Murderers. Murderers! Spent, they spent all their time getting me from here to 114th Street to the operating table because I was in bleeding internally. For them to kill me almost 12 years later. Yes, people, that is true. Go to the emergency room. They don't want to give you a prescription. So I said, can you put that in writing? No, they don't want to give it to me in writing that they're going to refuse me medical treatment. They're going to refuse me my prescription. Oh, yes, they are. So since I'm going to die in 12 hours, I might as well stay here, right? Let the murderers take care of me because when my, that spironolacto is not ready in 12 hours because I don't have a refill. So as you hear him, He's going to prevent me from having my refill, too. So you hear him? You hear this, right? Because this is all going on YouTube. This is all going on YouTube. Putting this all on YouTube. To let them know that Mount Sinai is only for the rich white. You see Mount Sinai sold to the, to the man who owes taxes for four years. That would be Stephen Ross, the 83-year-old man who owns 95% of of the New York Dol I mean the, the, the Florida Dolphins? Yes. Mount Sinai 
sold their sold their rights to a corporate officer to a corporate man and investors so that so so he sold they sold their their hospital like a corp like it was a corporate like it was a part of corporate sold the company to the wealthy white man yes they did Mount Sinai is only for serving people who don't have, not for the people who ain't got no money. Oh, no. Mount Sinai is also involved in violating people's constitutional rights of freedom of speech. Constitutional right violators. She did just say that she had about 12 hours left but 24 hours later she tried to get her meds from this pharmacy but she ended up going off on them for refusing her service. Constitutional right violators right here. Accusing me of a crime but yet and still it don't even follow under their guidelines. Gonna deny me my right to, so that I don't go into cardiac arrest. You mind at least filming away from here? We nope. The patient nope. Information. Nope. Nope. You, you don't get that right. You You're in up, my man. country. You You're, up, in my country. You You're in my country. Man, it's, it's You're in my country. You're in my country. And you, with the act, with the skin problem. Yes. I know you don't even need to try that. It's fine. Um, it's still don't even yours. try it. Don't even try it. See, unlike you, I didn't take a test. I went to college to be a veterinarian. Oh, that's right. I went to agriculture college. And I got that way because my dad's VA benefits, my dad's Social Security money, paid for it. So if Chinese man want to complain because my, my father gave his life for this country, March 4th, 1967, how many Chinese gave up, gave up for this country? How many? How many of them sacrificed? How many Chinese on the wall over there in, in Washington, D.C.? Huh? How many? You are insulting and making an ins racist remark to me when I came in here. Looked at my cart and thought I came in here with cans. Miss, you in here for cans? Isn't that what you said to me? That come from the dirtiest country. But don't worry. America getting ready to bomb your country. We have our ships on, your, on the water. You got a problem with me. Like the other guy problem giving up Taiwan. Now she came out out of one of her RVs to find officers giving her a parking ticket which she's not too happy about. And you know what's crazy? All of this happened within a month of her moving to New York. And you haven't even seen all of it. So talking about racism, this is what racism is. She came over here because she thought that I would possibly get physical with the white cop. So that's what this is about. Because she wasn't over here when you see I started this video. So is NYPD still practicing racism? Absolutely. Would they rely on their own people to be just as be ignorant? Absolutely. Black people are the worst. Are the worst. So can I have my parking violations? Mm. Let me put. Let me take a picture of this. As you see, the parking violation. And notice that we said parking violation because. Parking violations are not covered under the driver's manual. DMV does not have parking violations. I'm just saying. So, and you can always get black people who don't know the difference between the government and the city. As black people in New York City, the difference between federal government and city. Let's not talk about politics right now. I mean, it's not the issue. This is they, no. They're writing parking violations on my that's stuff. That's their job. That's what. No, that's that, what that is not their job. That is not their job. Their law. Their job is law enforcement. You see the. You see the name on that thing. It says Department of City of New York. Okay. 
their uniform and their guns and their badges because they pass law enforcement. That parking violations is not part of law enforcement. So that's what you think because they got you coming here to this country and you don't even know your rights. I do know my yeah, rights. Yeah, yeah, you sitting up here talking all stupid, talking about wasting somebody's Yeah, you go. I hope you're gonna get the hundred tickets. First of all, you got the wrong mother. Okay? I have your deported. Deported. Deported, you rag. Take your deported, need to be deported on back. Knowing your driver's license ain't all together. Um, I told the house here who was accommodating the white lady and in the she was in the loot, she was in an SUV, mm -hmm. Lexus. He couldn't tell her to go around me. He had to accommodate her. He was giving her, I moved over so she can go around because I actually have, oh, and, and is that sign a legal sign that's, that is in, that's in the DMV book? Is this a sign that you see in the Division of Motor Vehicle State New York book? Let's see. No, that's not in a DMV book where you get your license, your license plates and your registration. Nor is he a federal worker out of the state of New York. He is a city worker. He gets a city paycheck. He is not even, even acknowledged. So the ticket she just received, she decided not to pay it. And 30 days later, her RV was towed. So when she went to pick up her RV, she says that now her RV has damages that the tow truck caused. After going back and forth, she decided to call the cops on them and ended up going off on the cops for not listening to her explain why she called them in the first place. But this one told me that I, um, I asked me, did they tow my car? I told Douglas I had a vehicle back there, but Douglas insisted on telling me, oh, I thought you said you had a car and it, you had a car. So Douglas standing right here, Officer Dumb. You see that? You see that information? See his name right there? Who got mad because I told him I didn't have a car? I have a vehicle. Here's the paperwork. So now he wants to he wants to act like it's irrelevant to what I was saying. So because he doesn't want to. So and this one right here wanted to sit up there and think that I need to talk to him too. I'm the one that made the phone call for them to come here. But he who's doing the talking? Who's doing the talking? Did I did I get to say anything? Have I get to tell either one of these dumb what I called them for? Right, no, because dumb over here, Muta Grande Puñeta, going to sit up here and tell me that the reason why I come is because I was talking about a car. Because this think that I was brought up in, in New York City public housing, and the only thing that I would be able to appreciate is a car. He doesn't realize that I'm not from New York, and I didn't grow up in the city around dirty, Puerto Ricans and dirty Puerto Ricans, but that the re no, now now he's interested in what knowing that you know is being that he done already told me what I what I was doing. Do you imagine? Can you even imagine me trying to explain? Okay, can you imagine even trying to explain to this one what I really called for? So so you read this. Now, now here we go. Mr. IQ right here doesn't know that I have insurance. So Mr. IQ, because he was so busy trying to be a know-it-all, Mr. I, Mr. IQ didn't realize that I actually have insurance people who filled it out and that I have quite a bit of money from the damages. But since he thinks I'm, I'm probably one of these who was raised in New York, and obviously because I'm in the category of, of what he's insinuating, that he's also insinuating I was, I'm so stupid. And knowing his culture is known for thinking that females are good for nothing, but trying to be told what to do by somebody else. Then we have this, then we have her right here, who thinks that I should oblige by a no standing parking violation that I don't know when it occurred. And this fat is putting on his gloves because he thinks I don't want to leave here. Now, can you explain to me, can you ask fat ass, what would I want to stay here for? What would I want to stay here for? Have a nice day. Ask Fat here, what would I want to stay here for? 
Go on. Give me a reason. All we do is just give, me a reason. All you do is give me a reason. Give me a reason. Give me a reason why I would want. No, you ain't insinuating something. All you do you is put these gloves on. Things. He put his gloves on because he thinks I don't want to leave. You don't want to leave. No, he told me I don't want to leave. You hear you this? Leave or not? You hear fast? Are you gonna leave or not? He can't even find his prostate over here. Right, He's got on blue gloves on with his fat gut belly state. Look at that. This is this is what NYPD looks for. A mother who can't even put his bulletproof vest over his blubber. Look at that fat. Look at this bro smoke in here. My son's a federal agent. Sacrifice. None of your business. Okay. He's not here, right? None of your business. You wouldn't if you if you knew where he was. If you knew where he was, ain't nothing you could do to him. You nothing you could do for him. Nothing you could do for you. He can pay the summons for you. Oh! He thinks I ain't got no money. You heard that, right? He yeah. thinks I ain't I got no that. money. He said, yes, he said, my son can pay my summons. You heard that. My son can pay my summons for me. So he thinks I'm a migrant who jumped over the fence, or uh, jumped up, came through, came through the sand. He thought I paid for this. And he really thinks that I'm going to pay a summons. And he's, and he's dumb enough to think, just like I'm supposed to think that you're not an, an, an American. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, you you thinking? Is that what you're thinking? That I, that you, that also that you that you are not American. I bet you don't don't call yourself an American either, because you did everything them white folks say. You sure you don't want your gloves? So within just minutes of the officers leaving, they were called once again because well, the lady is digging on her neighbor's property looking for the property pin she's doing this because she wants a tree she planted which is now on her neighbor's property the neighbors told her they would give her back the tree but only if she stopped talking to them and for her to remove the huge sign that she put on her window with the letter f and the letter u don't touch my tree seriously don't touch my tree seriously don't touch my tree i plant i planted this tree look at look at even on your property line look even on If a property line has been an issue for six years, why it did hasn't you... Been an, I've lived here for six years. It hasn't been an issue since last June. She found out she may have three feet of property. Until then, since 1972, it's been our property and we've mowed it, we've weeded it, we've taken care of it. So when we paid for the assessor to find out that she may have three feet, that's when she wanted to throw a fit about it. So now it seems pretty stupid, don't it? I lived here in 2007. I've lived here since 1977, okay? And we have cared for it from here west since 1977. Hey, so I don't know your name. I don't know. Here is the straight line from the line they picked. They're going to get a metal detector so we can find the property pin and, and make the straight line because she's trying to take it to go around my tree. The I bought, she's trying to take my tree. Property, but it's not. It becomes her tree. But it's not, you see? Yeah. And she did just tell my dad on video, if I'll stop doing this, this, and this, okay. and this, and this, she's going to give me my tree. How gracious of her. I did. I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to this guy and this lady. I wasn't even talking to you. So. So that's the pin that they I, picked have you, back there. Guys, have you found the pin? Yeah. Not she yet. covered it up. No, this is the one. This is the one they say is the pin. This isn't it. Because is there the one, a pin there? There is. Then that's the pin. But the pin that they put in was bright pink on the top and this one's broken. That's the pin. How does it, how does it go? That's a surveyor's pin. How does it go like this? I, Mark, I know it was on this side. 
That's and I want to find a, I want to, I want to, I'm not going to settle property disputes. That's that, fine. Kayla. I didn't need you to come back out here. We were that, doing just fine without if me. If that is the pin in the ground, that is the survey. I want to check here and make sure that there's no pin because okay. when the surveyor did it, it was on this side. Okay, but again, I still want to get, I want to check a metal detector on this side because you I'm can. almost, I'm Go almost ahead and wrap positive, that string around that pin. But this isn't final because if there's a, a, a property line over here, if there's a, a, a post over here, then okay. that's going to change what's going on Guys, back there. We're going to leave. Okay. okay. Yeah, because you don't have to call the police. The police going to come to the trees. Can stop. Leanne, if anybody there. can call the police, and we'll, we'll respond. But we're not going to babysit you guys. This is, I said, we had the be the adult conversation. Yeah. So. And we were. All three of us were having a nice conversation until Leanne didn't get away. To please her, they went and got a metal detector to finally shut her up, for now at least. There's one more part coming up later on. Please stop shoving her. She's hitting me with the goddamn thing. Well, move so I can do it. Go yeah. ahead, go that way. Actually, can you do it, sir? I don't. I don't, I don't know how to use it. I don't want. There's nothing. I don't need. What, what was that? Right here. Her, her, her buckle on her shoe. Right here. I just did it. What does he need to do to do it? Let him do it. Yeah. Dig, dig right there and see what's there. I don't want to, if, it, if it's y'all's and it's not mine, I'm not going to keep digging. I'm not rude like that. I won't dig in somebody's yard without my permission. But I got a foot on it just in case it is. I don't, I don't, I don't take no, her for her work. further than the front of my house. I don't. But we, then it's going to come back and what? In no, we only need the stream. Right, and then it's going to come back and be what? You're going to take my tree? Is that what it's going to be? See? You see that look on her face? She don't agree to nothing. So it doesn't even matter if I compromise with her. It's nothing. She's going to do what she wants all this time. Oh my God. I didn't done. beat you up. I never touched you. Leanne, if I, if I put my hands on you, if I drug you, she would know it. Okay. I drag you through. The we got a lot to do. So let's just tie this string off and get, get done. I want to get done. Well, I want to figure out how this string goes crooked on my property because the problem go the, down to, will you go down to the police station and I look at the it. thing i have it go upstairs and look at it. because i because i'm the one that ordered it i'm the one that paid for it doesn't that seem kind of shit? i ordered it and okay, paid for it, and now it she's running off the coattails this guy says that he bought a vacuum with a protection plan the prior night and when he tried to use it it didn't work so he showed up the next day at walmart wanting a refund he was told that the vacuum is not showing up on their system Hey guys, I'm over here at Walmart trying to turn the stupid garbage quality of uh, with a vacuum and they will not even return it with a receipt telling me, hey man, I need, uh, I need to exchange this. I bought yesterday and we need to exchange it. It's bad. It's not working. Okay? So I gave her the receipt and I need to exchange it. That's it. Telling me to call the manufacturer and all that. It's not my job. There's a record. It doesn't have a record saying This is your sold. policy. It's not no my policy. Huh? There was no record of it being sold. That's what do you mean? Sold. That's the receipt. Well, no, right there. That's what it's selling. So we can't do anything. That's the receipt. But on the system, it's saying there was no record. Look, he no, just, the it's saying he no just bought it yesterday. Yeah. So, okay, what's the, what's the deal? So we can't do anything. We can't over it. We're going to exchange it. We can't exchange either because we have to return it and then resell it. There's nothing we can do. Well, how did you sell it then? We have to return it and then resell it. We can't just do a flat out exchange. Huh? We can't do an exchange just like that. Why? Because our system will allow us. Huh? We took that option. So return it Why did I buy the, uh, the, 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 the stupid service? The service? That's what? That's the protection plan. It's not through us. When you charge us. We just sell it. We don't actually do anything for it. No, no sense. Anyway, return this here. Okay, I'll deal with this later. Okay, return this. But that's stupid, right? That's very stupid. Walmart is very stupid. Okay? Alright. 
All right. It's a very stupid place. It's a disgusting. Okay. Eighty five dollars should be going to the trash right now because of that. Eighty five dollars. Okay. I could have gambled with it better. Okay. Then give it to stupid Walmart. Okay. Right. Then I say anything I want. Okay. No, on this. Okay, and then come and give me garbage, act like you're a Bruce Lee. Well, don't come and run your mouth like you're somebody. Okay, I'd say anything I want. I say anything I want. Not to me, though. I'd say anything to her anyway because I'm a customer here. Right. Right, I need to return for this. I need, I need, I need for this, this, this chemical spread. You know, cancer disease right here. Okay. Customers can move over to the customer service desk. Lou, Martin, come to the right. customer service desk. Thank you. Right. Yellow public server. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, making fun of yourself. You can not show what kind of service you have. Right. Right. They don't honor their service. Look at this garbage item right here. It's not even working. Just bought yesterday for $85. Now $85 going to trash with the receipt. Right. This one. We're not going to do it anymore because of your behavior, so you're going to have to leave. Am I going to turn it? No, you can go to another Walmart. Oh, okay. Better than seeing your face this day. It's miserable people. Okay. After destroying her neighbor's yard, she finally gave in but now tries to seem like she's just a good mother who's protecting her children. She says that her neighbor is the one causing the issues and even claims to have filmed her running her hand over with a lawnmower. I was able to find the so-called lawnmower clip that was taken from the neighbor's perspective. And you know what? This lady is a lying Karen. That's fine, but I just want y'all to know. Well, y'all really it. got yourself into something here because she's not truthful. We've been to court three or four times. She said I spit on her and uh, I had video of me at the hospital with my best friend having a baby that day. And that's how that case got dismissed. She accuses me and my children of awful, terrible things. I get along with everybody else in this neighborhood. I didn't know your kids were all talking and, and, I, and I've lived here my whole life. I've lived in this neighborhood my whole life. I get along with everybody here. And Leanne, she's losing her mind. She's got dementia. I don't know what the hell's going on, but she's losing her mind. And she sits in the house by herself, and she watches the cameras, and she comes up to me that me and my kids are doing. And I mean, she accuses them of doing awful, awful things. Yeah, but she tells us that she's not allowed to come outside because she, of this. She can do whatever she wants. No, see, the thing is, is I do not speak to her unless she comes to me. I have multiple hours of video of her being literally not even this property, not even my on my property. Okay, will you take the sign out of the window? Throwing bricks at me, assaulting me. She almost ran my, almost a year ago today, she ran my hand over with a lawnmower. It was running. Okay, but it's hard to prove Thank you. that. It's, Thank you. It's hard to prove that she's the bad one when you've got a sign. I don't care. I have, I have multiple hours of video of her being the bad one. I don't care about the sign. I don't care about the sign. The, neither the judges care about the sign. Neither the district attorneys care about the sign. The sheriffs don't care about the sign. The police don't care about the sign. You know what they do care about? Um, her running my hand over with a lawnmower. Her assault charge she got for throwing bricks at me. Her uh, vandalism charge for throwing bricks through my window. It's not. I'm not the bad guy. I protect my children and my home. Now, if she would stay away from me and my children, we wouldn't have a problem. Is there a bar in town? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really her running my hand over with a lawnmower here. Oh, Watch. She's going to run my hand over with a lawnmower. She just did. She just did. She just did. trying to mow and she knows that she came out to stalk me and to cause problems. No, I didn't. I didn't do anything. I am mowing my yard. 
I am mowing my yard. Those bricks are on my property and she keeps putting them back there. I can't even mow my own yard. Right next to the brick there, ain't it? Yeah, she shoved her lawnmower out. See that? This lady ordered some chicken wings from this Chinese restaurant on Sunday and she says the chicken wasn't right so now she's back with the food in her hand not wanting a refund or an exchange she just wants to give it back three days later I had bought that the other day and it was late I was bringing it back huh? it was not right it was cooked half done what you order? Uh, the what, six wings I think or ten, ten wings something like that with the um, fried but I don't, want my, I don't want the money back and I don't want the chicken Yeah, it was six piece wings with the fries. How we? Yeah. Uh huh. Just one order? Yeah. One order? I remember I had ordered two, but he ate his and mine wasn't right. But y'all was closed Monday and I couldn't get here yesterday, so I came back today. I'm sorry, what day you ordered? That was the day that the, was Sunday? Sunday. But I couldn't come back Monday because y'all was closed. I came back Monday. Uh huh. So I came today. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I know. That's what I say. I'm bringing it back. I just let tell you, it wasn't right. It was half done. The chicken. The tongue. Mm hmm See, I ain't eat none of them. All I'm in there. It's no peeps. Yeah, peeps. So after getting into an argument with this bus driver, he told her to leave, but she decided to stand on the doorway, keeping the bus from leaving. She actually tells the bus driver that it's a federal law to insult someone's intelligence. Hi, I'm on camera. You see it behind? Do you see it behind the department? Hi. Yes, yeah, she. You see the phone behind the camera? The now you hear him lying, right? Now he's telling a lie. Now he's lying. Now he's lying. He's lying. Look on the camera. He's lying. He's lying. Look on the camera. I'm videotaping him talking to you on the phone because I'm sending this to your controller's office. He's lying. I'm and that's right. How many times have you with me? Three times, right? Three times. This is the third time. Supervisor. 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 Supervisor, he does not want to give me his badge number, does not want me to identify him by face. So have the supervisor come get his badge number. And my name is Bonnie, the lady with the two RVs under 33rd and West Side Highway. You know exactly who I am. Bonnie, you know exactly who I am. Two RVs under West Side Highway and 33rd Street. No, that's you. That's your mama. Tell them how you want to tell me that this was your bus. Tell them how you try to pretend like you was MTA. Go ahead. Tell them how you pretended to be MTA. And you're lying that I'm behind there with you. If I was behind there with you, what's your badge number? How come I don't have your badge number? I, don't you feel bad you had to come to my country to get earn an income and earn a living? You feel bad about that, don't you? I wonder if you can go drive the bus in your country. So you know it's also, in this country, it's a crime to insult somebody's intelligence. It's a federal crime to insult somebody's intelligence and to make, to make allegations against them. So you just be prepared. So this next couple were eating two bags of chips while shopping inside this Walmart. And this guy saw them eating the bags of chips and decided to refuse them service and even refuse to let them pay for the bag of chips along with their other items. The asset them? protection manager. I have these two people in front of me you who are consuming. Do you want the two dollars right now? In front of my store. Do you they want were... the two dollars right now? Let's I have them. Let's just go. Let's walk away. I'm gonna ask you guys to leave. If you guys don't leave, I'm gonna call police. We are, do you want us to go pay the stuff? Keep or going. Not? Let's go. At yeah. this point, I just want you guys to leave since you guys are acting up. Okay, too easy. Uh, 
I'm asking you to leave. Oh, you don't want me to pay for it? No, I just want you to leave. I'm no, we're going to pay for that. David. No, you guys are just going to be restricted from property. You guys can have the chips. Just leave the property. This yeah, is harassment. You guys are no, going to be wants... denied service at the... He doesn't want us to pay for it. No, we're going to pay. This is unnecessary. I just need you guys to leave. I'm, I have to pay. I have some disruptive customers inside the store that are refusing There's to leave no when they've been asked several times. They're consuming product inside the store and we just need them to leave. All right, we're just going to pay ourselves. I can't I leave until I paid this. I gotta pay for my stuff, man. I'm telling you to step outside. Mm, he doesn't want us to pay, forget it. All right. Mm. Just step outside. Okay. What was your name? I'm the ISIS protection manager. What's your name? I'm not gonna give you my name, man. David, right there. Okay. Okay. Now the city workers are parked next to her RV and she has a huge problem with the truck's fumes stinking up her RV. The workers call the cops on her but she's mad that nobody came knocking on her door and told her that they would be working next to her RV. So they're going to explain to me how blue collar workers like him are doing their job. He's going to explain to me how it's okay that they couldn't tell me that they were coming to do the job but they told traffic that they were coming to do the job, but I didn't matter. So they wanted to put, they, let, they didn't tell me that my windows needed to be closed. They didn't tell me that they were gonna be up on my place. It wasn't important. And because they don't like me, the 10th precinct can't stand me. They think that what any time anybody does anything to me, it's okay. And they all know that I have Arteries, all my arteries are replaced. They know that I have my heart reattached to my artery. They know that all my organs are reattached. And he wants me to pay attention to a blue collar worker doing a blue collar job. Yes. And he and the other one came over here looking like Pinocchio, like him with the big pointy nose, talking about told me, told them that I was emotionally disturbed. But they don't have any paperwork. I'm about to pay attention to them doing their work, but not, but not me living in my RV. That's not what's important. It's what's important. I'm about to breathe all their fuel off of here. So officers, farewell, will be their witness when I go get that money. Because I'm telling you, I'm taking it. You heard that. He said that's fine. So he will be a part. He will be a part. A witnessing when I go take that money. All right, we're well, we gonna be here for about three hours. So okay, okay, it's okay with you, right? This officer is here telling me they do, they're doing their job. Yes, so he's the he's now he wants to interrupt while I'm telling the story. He's interrupting. He's interrupting me, telling him that this one should have enough respect to knock on the door and tell me to close my windows, and and for me not and for them. For me not to be able to breathe this stuff in the elderly lady who lives in my other small RV, he couldn't. He could. He thinks it's okay that they couldn't notify me to tell me to close my windows, or that they're going to be making noise to wake me up. He thinks that's okay. That's how you can tell how they were raised. Their parents didn't teach them respect for other people. They didn't tell, teach them to be courteous to other people. So he wants to tell me about a blue collar worker doing his blue collar job while he's a blue collar worker and he's the only concerned about the job that's being done. And last but not least, she has a problem with an officer that parked next to her RV claiming that his fumes is smelling up her RV because she has the windows open. The funny part is that the officer is hiding under a bridge watching traffic and he happened to stop next to her because she's under a bridge and she thinks that he's there to stink up the RV. 
Here we have another wonderful episode of NYPD. He has the his vehicle running. My windows are open because I had my battery and generator stolen. So I'm without power. So I'm only on the power of windows. His fumes are smelling up my ve my home where I live. Because remember, when I first moved to New York, it was against the law for me to, to be of color and live where I can afford. So being that I did not take on the public housing to go live with the I was not accepted. I was not allowed to live where I wanted to live. So you know, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney sent her her, uh, what do you call them? Immigrants that was working in her office to chastise me because I didn't want to pick up one of the projects over on First Avenue and 23rd Street where they always have continuous shootouts. I didn't want to raise my children there. So every time I found a place that I would need some help with getting a deposit, it was always a problem because I was of color. All the places that I could afford without the help of the public assistant, I was not allowed to. So what am I dealing with today? I'm dealing with somebody who don't even make 100000 a year and the city really don't show any sympathy for him, even train them to try to be nice. He's going to sit here and contaminate my air while I have Aorta repair surgery. I have all new arteries. And you know what he told me? He doesn't care. I have a cat sitting in the in my bedroom and two dogs and another cat in the another one. And he said he does not care. 